Mr. Lane, this robbery is not going to reflect well on you. As I said, I shall take my chances. You're not getting that door code. This is an inside job for sure, Mr. Lane. The police are going to be very interested in your recent movements. I've been out of town for several days, and last night I retired early. Just saying. You're not going to scare me into giving you that door code, you know. I was onto something here, and I knew it. Lane was sweating. It wasn't pretty. How about it, Mr. Lane? Ready to give me the door code yet? Certainly not. Give me a single reason why I should. Guilty by way of nail clippers. I've been away from Paris for several days and only got back this morning. How could I have cut that wire? I hate to say this, Mr. Lane, but you're going to be the number one suspect for this murder. So you keep saying, Mr. Stobart. Mr. Lane, this robbery is not going to reflect well on you. As I said, I shall take my chances. You're not getting that door code. So you'd been out of town and hit the sack early last night? That's right. I've not been near the gallery for days. Guilty by way of nail clippers. Sheer fantasy. What possible motivation could I have to sabotage the alarm? The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. The cable for the camera ran into the... The cable for... I didn't need to look at the note a second time. It wasn't tough to remember. 2.30 p.m., be ready. Father? Yes, my son. What did you mean when you said that a great evil had taken place? Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. What? Peter 5.8 the devil is all around, Mr. Stobart. Did Henri say anything before he died? He said, Stop the car. I want to get in. Um, what does that mean? We may never know. What brought you to the exhibition, Father? The painting. Which one? La Maledictio, of course. The painting that was stolen. I had to confront the evil. I think there's something strange going on here. Yes, Mr. Stobart. At last you see the truth. No, Father. I mean that the robbery looks like an inside job. The devil's work is always an inside job. A wire in the painting's alarm was deliberately cut. Cut by the devil himself, perhaps. Well, as far as I know, sightings of guys with horns and tails have been a little down recently. You mock me, Mr. Stobart. But as you will discover, the devil likes to have the last laugh. Do you know the code to get into the office? No. But you could always pray and ask for divine guidance. With respect, Father, I'm looking for a slightly quicker solution. What do you know about the man who painted La Maledictio? El Serp. He was a man playing with fire. The fire of eternal damnation. Tell me about the stolen painting. Whoever gets close to it will burn in hell. Hey, Father, how about a squirt? I think not. Do you recognize these? Nail clippers? I'm not sure what your point is.
The street was quiet and upmarket. Not the kind of place for an opportunist thief. I've always been a sucker for Parisian stained glass. I've always I've always been a sucker for The waiter wasn't exactly run off his feet. Excuse me. Monsieur? There's just been a robbery at the gallery. Oh, really? You don't sound surprised. All property is theft, monsieur. And all art is property. Therefore, all art is theft. Do you not agree? Uh, well, uh, when you put it like that, it's <clears throat> hard not to. Did you see anybody run out of the gallery earlier? There was a beautiful woman with a camera. She was chasing somebody. Oh, that must have been Nico. You know her? You surprised me. Can you tell me anything about the man she was chasing? I assume, monsieur... That, like all of us, he is inherently unknowable. No wonder this guy's cafe was empty. The gallery owner, Henri, was shot dead trying to stop the robbery. Life has no meaning the moment you lose the illusion of being eternal. Right. Did you know him well? Can we ever truly know another human being, monsieur? He spent little time at the cafe. Unlike his friend, Monsieur Lane. What do you know about Hector Lane? Lane? Oh, yes. He drinks here sometimes. He slid away last night without paying. Last night? What sort of time? After midnight, for sure. If you see him, give him this bill. And tell him to pay up next time. The check was from last night, but Lane told me he was nowhere near the gallery. This could be the leverage I needed to get the office door code from Lane. What do you know about Le Lizard Bleu? It's bourgeois, vacuous, and overpriced. Just like its curator Lane. He's always in here, you know, talking art to his latest flusé. So you and Lane aren't best of pals, huh? The man is a second-rate critic, peddling meaningless aphorisms. Would you like a squirt of this? Are you suggesting a smell, monsieur? No, sorry. Do you recognize these? They are nail clippers. Thank you for your consistent indifference, monsieur. Perhaps next time you come, I will give you a coffee. Perhaps not. Take a look at this. What of it? It's your bill from the cafe next door. So? It's dated yesterday. Last night, in fact. 12.30, to be exact. You said you were out of town. You sure drank a lot of champagne last night without paying the bill. But you told me that you were away from Paris last night. I hate to say it, but that sounds like a lie to me. Tell you what, you give me the code of the door, and the police need never know. A motive and proof of involvement. Not looking good, Mr. Lane. You are a blackmailer, Stobart. Just doing my job. <sighs> All right. You have me. The number is 6397. But I admit to none of these spurious accusations. I had the code, 
The police would be here any moment, so I had to work fast. What was that number again? Six, four, two, no. Everyone, hold it right there. Damn it. I am Inspector Navet of the Paris Serious Crime Squad, and I hereby declare this crime scene open. I mean, closed. Now, nobody move, especially you on the floor. Mo, I want a total lockdown. Nobody in or out, apart from me, of course. I needed to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Mou. Our paths had crossed before. Sergeant Mou, we meet again. Aha, Madame Cola, an unexpected pleasure. I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry, but I am under strict orders from Inspector Nave. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. And I must correct you, madame. It is no longer just a theft. It is a murder. Mon Dieu! That poor man! I witnessed the crime. I've got to get back in there. I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw the thief. I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, Madame Gola. Who is Inspector Nave? Ah, the most promising young investigator on the force. A genius. A man blessed with almost superhuman insight. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame. It is not for us to talk about the Inspector's sweaty proclivities. He is about to solve his third case in as many days. So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Blood spatter. He is the world expert. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Nave. Tut tut. He is not to be disturbed. He is applying his famous scientific methods. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog-tired and want to go home. I chased after the shooter and got a photo of him. Inspector Nave will be delighted. You've got to let me into the gallery to show him. Absolutely not. So, I cannot go in without Inspector Nave's permission? No. And to get Inspector Nave's permission, I need to go in. Exactement. Have you ever heard of Kafka, Sergeant Mu? Madame Gola, I do not see what soccer players have to do with this. No, he's a... Never mind. This was madness. Sergeant Mu wasn't going to let me in. Why are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Nave is a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make me a deserter, madame. A gendarme? Never leaves his post. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last... Uh, incident. That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? I don't want to talk about it. All I can say is it was very... unfortunate. I am on duty, and I need to focus. Here's my press card. Do you have a statement for the paper? Yes, madame. Stay away from the crime scene, 
and let the police do their job. And always leave a light on when you go out at night. Thanks a lot, Sergeant Moo. You've been so helpful.